Here we are with a three-time Division I All-American from Oklahoma State University and a state champion from Osseo High School in Minnesota, Mike Farrell. Mike, a lot of years of wrestling underneath your belt. You're a second winningest wrestler in Oklahoma State history. Your time at Oklahoma State wrestling with the legendary John Smith, now helping out high school and, and, and college. Do you, do you, do you think there's a, there's a change with the way the behavior has been in the, re the uh, wrestling room and uh, what has it been? You know, I'm not sure if there's been a change in the wrestling room or not. I think everybody worked hard, whether it was back then or now. I think the difference is the access to the different levels of coaches through the internet, flow wrestling and things like that that so many people focus on. So I think the technique is getting a lot better. And you probably have quite a few better athletes today than you did, you know, 30 years ago. When you, take in, when, when you take a look at the high school level and you take a look at the college, you've helped out both. You're a coach at Apple Valley, an area helping out here and there, here with uh, St. Cloud State. Even though it's a high school and college comparison, are there some uh, uh, rules of the road that, uh, that really pertain to both high school and college? You know, I think they all have a dream and all have a, you know, a vision of being the best at whatever they're doing, whether it's the high school level or the uh, college level. Um, I was very blessed to be in the Apple Valley program for the two years that we had won the national championship, you know, at the high school level, and also, you know, with several national champions here in St. Cloud State as well. So, you know, I think um, people really come out to perform. I think they're, they're there to win. They're not there just for a ride. And I think, you know, that's pretty uniform throughout uh, high school and or college. When, when you look at coaching at the high school level, and now coming in into college and your time of actually being a wrestler conditioning wise i mean it varies from program to program but as you grow in in the sport as a spectator and now as as a coach do you do you think you learn something year in and year out about how uh, important it is to con condi condition yeah i think it's very important to condition i think um, you know there's four legs anytime we're you, know, you want to be very successful and it's strength and conditioning, um, it's technique, it's diet, and it's you know your mental toughness. So I think you need to, to have a portion of all those in your daily routine to be a successful athlete. Why are you still in, in the sport? What keeps you here? What keeps you as, as a spectator? And what keeps you in, in the room helping out kids? You know, I guess my dad has always taught me, you know, give back to what gave to you. And, you know, I just like to contribute. I've been offered you know, be paid, you know, over the years and, and I've turned everyone down. I've never been a paid coach. Um, I've done it because, you know, I want to do it at my leisure to help the kids that really want to be helped. I, you know, I feel enjoyment out of that. I've mentored a lot of kids over the years and they've all, you know, are great kids. When, when you look at what St. Cloud State has done uh, last year and you compare it to something that when you were in a, uh, in a great program like o Oklahoma State, how hard is it to repeat as national champions? What goes through your head knowing that they're national champions, but having that one more year to rip, rip, uh, repeat, you have a target on, on your back? You know, you always got a target anytime you're the best. You know, and right now St. Cloud State has positioned itself to be one of the best in the country and everybody's going to be on, their, on the target. So they're a target on their back. So everybody's got to come every day to, to be ready, to be prepared and to wrestle. No different than when we were wrestling. We won nationals uh, in 1989, my senior year, and then again in 2000, or in, uh, 1990, you know, a repeat year. So, you know, it was very tough for the team back then. I was still actively involved. And it's going to be tough for St. Cloud State to repeat it this year, but they have a great team. I think they got eight returning All-Americans. And once you've won it, I think you break the barrier knowing that you can win it again. So I think it's for them to lose instead of for anybody else to win it. Three-time Division I All-American and state champion from Osseo, Minnesota, Mike Farrell. Thanks, Mike. You bet.